burnt myself a few times. But uh, normally it's okay. You, you don't hold the fire for too long. It's, uh, I have a couple of tricks that are much more dangerous than others. And very occasionally uh, you do burn yourself, but for not very often. And it's never bad. I've been juggling for about 30 years now. I juggle because I like it really, but uh, it's, it's job and it's hobby as well. So uh, it's a lot of fun. There's always something new, there's always something challenging. And it's, it's nice when it works too. I keep my concentration literally by going through what the next move's gonna be just as I'm gonna do it. So you, you know what comes next, you know your routine, and you you literally you concentrate very much on catching what you've just thrown. When you're working with fire, it's, it's a little more uh, difficult, it's a little more dangerous, and you have to, um, you've got the noise, swishy noise of the fire going, and also people tend to turn the lights down on you, so it's much more difficult to see what you're doing, so the tricks then become harder. If you imagine a fire club, so it's a long stick with fire on the end, when it's dark you literally can't see the stick. You can see where the fire's burning and you see it, you see it coming towards you, you just kind of guess where the slightly darker shadow of the stick is and you have to try and catch that. It's not hard to make a living juggling fire actually. Well, it depends on your act and how good you are obviously, but uh, for myself I've been very, very lucky and I've, I've done well from it. It's been good for me. As long as people keep paying me, that's where I'll be, I guess.